What have you been learning about rest lately? Well, I think the the first place our minds go when we think about rest is to the commandments, so to the fourth commandment. You know, um, honor the Sabbath or remember the Sabbath and to keep it holy. And as I've been studying rest, I my mind has, has gone back to the commandments both in Exodus and in Deuteronomy. And what's been surprising to me is how much airtime is given within that commandment to enabling and fostering rest for those underneath our authority, those we're responsible for. It's amazing. I, I never saw that before where it's not just you individually or, or myself individually um, resting and honoring this day as the Lord's day. It's actually, yes, that plus and Almost all of us have someone underneath us, whether that would be um, people that we're counseling or people uh, in our family, our children, or a spouse, or um, you know, someone in, 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 that we're teaching, if we're a teacher. And included in the command to rest and to take that seriously in a regular rhythm of life is, okay, Aaron, how are you encouraging and making it possible for your wife to rest? How are you building a compelling vision for what rest is for your children, for your teenagers that are continually wired to a telephone, you know, who are running with school, who are running with sports and piano practices and continually on to the next thing. And I've really been uh, fascinated by just how challenging this is. So number one, the question is, am I resting? Am I finding um, a time in a regular way, and especially on the Lord's day, to nourish myself and to, to, to spend the day in restorative and worshipful activity? So that's, that's the first question. Am I doing that? Am I even half successful at uh, fostering that kind of, of rhythm in my life? But the second question is, am I, is it even on my radar to make this possible for my wife and for my children? Um, are they finding time to rest? And is the Lord's Day something that is um, what it should be for them? Now, the first thing you bump into is, um, you know, just rules like the when you think of the sabbath rest you think of okay don't work you need to cease from your work and your labors and your toil and your your striving and and relax and um, go to church but sabbath becomes like this you know uh, set of rules of what you do and don't do on sunday and I, I think that misses the uh, although those things are important to actually have guidelines for what you're doing on the lord's day it misses the the, the main point and and how do you actually build a um, a vision for your uh, those who are under your authority um, that's compelling to them that actually feels like a gift from God to have a day of rest or times of rest and um, you know especially in a day and age where our identity is in how much we get done you know our identity is in how productive we are as people. The, the way you judge a day, for most people, if I'm not, I don't think I'm the only one, is how much did I get done today? How many things did I get checked off my list of responsibilities and to-dos? And the Sabbath and true rest is actually saying, our identity is not in how productive we are or how productive we've been, how much we can get done, but our identity is in that we are beloved, that we are forgiven by God, given new life, that we are new creation. And a day, the Lord's day, is all about delighting in Him and relishing and cherishing His love for us. And so how do I build that case for my kids? How does that uh, determine how I spend Saturday? 
right? Because the and, and how I encourage my my wife and children to spend Saturday because you can't have a day of rest on Sunday if you're just going, going, going on Saturday because you know typically most people are working Monday through Friday and so Saturday we just go, go, go and we have fun and we play and we go to the you know the park and and do all these great things but then Sunday comes and okay so we go to church but then we only have you know three or four hours on Sunday and so we have to pay bills and we have to mow the lawn and we have to you know do all these things that we couldn't do we grocery shop and those kind of things and before you know it Sunday's not the you know a day of rest it's um, it's just getting more things done right so I, I'm learning that it's a total culture change for me and that it's not just for me but uh, it's a it's a change in how I um, shepherd and care for those underneath um, my authority my responsibility and um, what a challenge <laughs>